Hi, um, my name is Govin Rubin. I am a artist, theater maker, and designer. And I run a company called Terry and the Cars, which is based between Kuala Lumpur and Melbourne. One of the things about living in Australia that I think took me by surprise was just how warm and friendly Australians actually are. And it was this idea or this notion that if you did your work, you get your recognition. I'm very much a city boy. So I grew up in Sentul in Kuala Lumpur. Growing up, I used to love going in and out of the back streets of KL. I studied at the Victorian College of the Arts in Melbourne and I graduated with a major in theatre design, production design to be exact, majoring in lighting. The Victorian College of the Arts, I reckon, is one of the best art schools in the country, particularly if you're studying production design because the VCA production students actually end up working across art forms and genres, which is also a very big reason I do what I do with Terry and the Cousin. We actually tell stories across dance, theater, puppetry, and art. So after making theater for about six years in Malaysia, our first premiere of a Terry and the Cuss work in Australia was at the Oz Asia Festival in Adelaide with a project called Skin, a work based on true stories about human trafficking. And the idea was it was talking about a serious issue in Malaysia and the way we delivered it was sort of fused with very cutting edge Australian style contemporary theatre that garnered a lot of positive press, great reviews and eventually earned us a Melbourne Green Room Award. Australia is a mix of so many different cultures and it's a culture that consistently and constantly wants to learn more. Because for example, in the UK or the US, you know, Broadway or the West End is it. And once you're there, you're stuck within this bubble because you don't need to go anywhere else. Whereas in Australia, there's this evolving need to be better, to learn more. And I think that makes the theatre here super exciting. Coming to Australia really provided me with structure. It gave me a sense of independence, but also a kind of work ethic. That's something which I'll always eternally be grateful to my time in Australia. I think now Australia today is actually one of the richest countries if you think about cultural diversity in the world.